Hey everyone, and welcome back to Michael O. As you saw in the video title, I'm going to be showing you today how to play uh, games like I play, such as Granny, Granny Chapter 2, Granny 3, The Twins, all on a mouse and keyboard. No emulator required. So as you know, you could probably do this on an emulator on your computer, um, but not everybody has a capable computer. I certainly don't. So I'm going to show you how to do it straight from your mobile device today. But first, you're going to need a couple things. Number one, you're going to need a capable Android device. So if you have an iOS device only, then this is not going to work for you. I'm sorry. But um, you need a Android device that is capable. I'm going to say that because, um, well, just take, take it from this right here. I have over here a 2016 Android phone, LG phone to be more exact. Um, with the Snapdragon 425 in it uh, and 2 gigs of RAM and it's a 2016 LG phone and that is not going to work it struggles to play the original granny game on the lowest graphic settings it lags and it uh, struggles very badly so I will not be using this because it can't handle the game itself if your phone or device as in my case I'm using a tablet here if your Android device cannot handle the actual game itself then do not try to run the keyboard and mouse on it. That's just going to make it worse. Um, this right here is the 2018 uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 with 4 gigs of RAM in the Snapdragon 835 and it is still very very capable to this day of running pretty much whatever I throw at it. So we're going to be using this today. And as you may have guessed the second thing you're going to need is for sure a mouse and keyboard. So I have here with me today my Fenty Bluetooth keyboard. This came with my last tablet that I owned, but I just uh, held on to it because it is Bluetooth. It uh, It's not made necessarily for the case on this tablet, but it, it, it does work with the tablet just fine. All I had to do was connect it to my Bluetooth, which you're going to probably have to do unless you find a plug-in one that fits with your uh, charging port. And the same goes with a uh, with a mouse. You're going to need to find one uh, that fits just right to your um, to your device or just plain Bluetooth. Here you can see I have my mouse here that can run, I don't know if you can see it there, but it can run um, the USB stick, the USB-C stick, or Bluetooth devices. So I'll have this set to Bluetooth. It should connect. You see there it's connected and you can see the cursor pop up. And then let me just go ahead and pull this up right here. Uh, there we go. All right, and then there we got our mouse and keyboard both connected. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out here. All right, there we go. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is get the um, Octopus app. Let me show you come in here and we have the octopus app right here as you can see and uh, so let me go ahead and start screen recording so that way you can uh, I can show it to you much better much easier okay, there we go so now we have here um, so let's open up the octopus app now for some of the features that are in here you're gonna need to get the premium version like I did so go ahead and make sure you have that in place um, but here you see here we have all our games here in order to add a game you just come over to this little plus icon scroll down to whatever game you want and then click add and it'll uh, and you can set custom triggers uh, which I'll show you here in a minute so in our case I already have added granny 3 I'll show you it with granny 3 so that way we can go through the setup together on this so you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, click on that and launch it it's gonna go through it's gonna do its thing here as it opens up, and you can see up here up top we have our little octopus thing. Looks like I've already set triggers, so let me go ahead and clear this, that way I can show you how to do it. Alright, so as you can see here we're just on the main menu. And for this video I'm going to just throw it into practice mode, so that way we don't have any distractions as we're trying to set this up and hit play. I'm going to turn this down a bit. Alright, so we're going to do practice. No no slendering. We're just 
I don't want to deal with distractions. Uh, I'll leave that on. So let's go ahead and start this up. Um, and like I said before, there's going to be some things up in here that you're going to want to uh, buy the premium version for because it won't work right with just the, the plain, uh, the regular version. So as you can see here, we have our controls over here. Uh, now we got to set triggers for this. So what you want to do is make sure when you're playing with a mouse and keyboard that you are in mouse and keyboard mode. As you can see here, I click on it and you can switch between that and gamepad but you're gonna wanna keep it in keyboard mode. Um, now let me show you how you add your triggers. You come over here, and you can see here we have all these options. These three right here you need um, the premium version for. Um, actually, I don't think we're gonna need to use those today, but it's still good to have it for just in case. So you can add a key here. You can drag it to wherever you want to on the screen. We're gonna, and then you can set your key on the keyboard and then you can add another one, another key. In this case, I'm going to add a compass for our joystick. So that way you can move about as you will. You just have to line it up. Try and center it as best you can. It's a little bit tricky um, because it's not the exact same size as the joystick. So you're going to have to kind of, what I do is I usually line, it up, line up the corners that indent in with the circle. Um, the circle part that you touch of the joystick and then this is already set up as W, A, S, and D uh, for you. Next up you're going to want to go ahead and add some more keys. Uh, you're going to want to add uh, what's called the sight and you're going to want to move this over here and then um, that's going to allow you to give, give you the full PC feel experience um, as you're going to be able to use your um, mouse to move around without having to click it all the time. I'll show you in just a second what all that entails but uh, first let me go ahead and show you that in order to activate this you're going to want to put this on the right side of the screen to the right of this dot here. Um, you're going to want to go to your settings and then choose your trigger switch to put it into shooter mode or to uh, put it into the head movement mode basically the look around mode. I usually just choose I so that way I don't accidentally hit it. And then um, we'll get into these settings later, but um, for now let's go ahead and move out of here. There we go, as you can see I'm just moving my mouse here. Let me move over my mouse so you can see it. I'm just moving my mouse, I'm not clicking or anything. I'm just moving it and it's moving the, the movement. Now, what happens a lot of times is it will um, Oh, here, I need to add the hand trigger. So I'm going to set that. I usually like to set this as two triggers, so that way I have some options. Set it as E, and then I'll add... Then I'll add mouse to the right click on the mouse. You can't choose the left click because that's reserved for the fire button, which I'm also going to add down here. It's somewhere down here. I can fix it later. You can always come back and fix these later. Um, and this right here will be your left click on your mouse. And then finally, I'll add uh, the space key down here. So that way I can drop items. Oops, that's my bad. All right, now this happens a lot to where you'll, you'll get all that set up. And then I'm clicking to move the joystick, but it's not working. So all you have to do is just close the app and then come back in. So just make sure all of this is saved the way you want it to. Um, and then go ahead and exit out of here. Come back to here. Launch it again. And you should be going back into business. Oh, and as you can see, you can see all the controls here. Like you can see where it says the key, uh, the keys that you're supposed to hit. You can turn that down by going to settings and then turning down the button opacity. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the game though. Do this again, do that again. There we go. You can also screen record from up here. That is, it, but if you start screen recording and it starts having problems, then don't do it because 
some some devices can't um, screen record and play at the same time depending on the processor so let's put it into shooter mode now I can move and then now I can use the joystick to move around too as you can see here so when you come down here you can choose your items as you can see I'm playing like a regular PC here um, oh and you're gonna wanna also set one for the middle here so that way you don't have to always get your mouse up there so usually I just set it as X and then you can use that to uh, pick locks in this game or remove traps in any of the granny games uh, bear traps that is and uh, so as you can see here it's all working now a lot of times in order to I forgot to mention this earlier but a lot of times in order to um, uh, in order to get the this mode to work where its head movement is controlled directly by the mouse without having to click it you have to go to your PC and you have to activate that through a web page it's not hard at all it did say that when you restart when you reboot your device that you're gonna have to do it again I have not had to do that at all I just did it once I've shut off my tablet and turned it back on many times and it's always worked for me so um, but um, if it works if it doesn't for you then just go back in and do it they have a set of, set of instructions in the app to where you can go and it'll guide you right through that so um, that's pretty much it for this video like I said you can always go back just remember to take it out of shooter mode you can always go back and re uh, realign your triggers or set them to different keys if you don't like the way that they are but this is just the way I have mine set up um, so that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave those down in the comments for me I would be glad to uh, answer those for you uh, do go ahead and hit that like button for the work I put into this video uh, subscribe if you already haven't and hit that bell so that way you can get notified whenever uh, you want to see my new fresh content come out other than that I'm gonna leave that to you guys uh, have a great day and I will see you in the next video goodbye